Okay. Turn me up a little bit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm sitting here at work. Uh, I decided I talked a little bit about the pork belly I made. It was the first one I made. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, uh, but there are some, certain things that I would change. So if I could talk about it, there could way it could probably save you guys uh, some of the pitfalls that I went through. First, let me go over the pros. What I liked about it, I tried a new seasoning, uh, which was that Head Country. That Head Country is it's a real good seasoning. Um, it's a nice rub. One thing I like about it, it's not overpowering, and it has like a little bit of smoky taste in it. So, but overall, it, it was a real good rub. And uh, if you can go out and get you some of that Head Country uh, Championship rub, it goes good. Uh, I know it goes good on pork. I think pork and chicken. I'm not sure about beef, but pork and chicken for sure. Uh, the injection that I made, which is going to be down in the comments, uh, for the injection that I made is for like a, it'll make about two cups worth. So I only had a small piece of uh, pork belly, so I didn't need it. The only thing that I did different in it is uh, I scaled it down a little bit to fit my what my needs. And I used uh, white vinegar instead of uh, apple cider vinegar, simply because I didn't have any apple cider vinegar, I only had white vinegar in the cabinet, so that's what I used. Um, but I would recommend it, it kept the meat moist, uh, that's another uh, alternative uh, if you don't want to brine it. Uh, let's talk about the mopping sauce. Stubbs mopping sauce. I love this stuff. This stuff is good. I put it on my ribs all the time. Um, I thin it out with a little bit of vinegar, but you can taste it and see you can do it how you want to do it. Uh, you put it on your ribs and it gives it that awesome color, that rich mahogany color for a rib. Uh, I would uh, I would recommend it. Some of the things that I didn't like about the pork belly. As I can say, you know, the taste was good. Uh, but I didn't score the skin and I didn't salt the skin so therefore it didn't crisp up and I didn't render a lot of the fat that was there uh, the taste the tenderness everything was there but it was a tad bit fatty than for, for my taste so definitely the next time I would score the skin and salt it so it can crisp up and render some more than fat. Ah, uh, but basically it was a good cook. Uh, I will cook another one. I'm glad I cooked a small one at first, but I'm going to cook another one probably about a 14 pounder. So sit back, you know, enjoy the video. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Got the pork belly on the butcher block. Looking pretty good. Here's the injection I use. I didn't use the same amount, but it can be cut down. Lather it with mustard. Use this Head Country Championship Season I got from my friend. It's pretty good. I really like this rub. Here it is all lathered down, ready for the smoker. The wood that I chose to use today was uh, the apple flavor, so it should be good. All right, I got the pork belly in. I got my trusty reliable kitchen thermometer reading at 250, and also the master bill is reading at 250, so I think we're good. I'm not gonna put a meat probe in here right now. I'm gonna let it go for probably like two or three hours. And then I'll, I'll temp it. And if it's the color I want, then I'll go ahead and wrap it. All right, see you guys in a little bit. The pork belly is out. Got the nice color on it that I want inside to wrap it. I wrap it, I use this stubs. Like, like I said, I really like this stubs. It gives a nice vinegary taste. She wrapped tight, ready for a nap. Now I'm putting it back into the smoker. Put it back into the smoker until I brought the temp up to about 202 degrees. 
throw it back out, glazed it with some of that uh, pepper jelly, Craig's pepper jelly, back for another 15 minutes in the smoker so she could set. I took her out, let her rest for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then I cut into it. Like I said, it was nice, tender, and juicy. Really like that. Hey, I appreciate you guys for watching the Meat Star. Uh, if you like the video, hit a like and subscribe. Stand by, more videos are on the way.